Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this RPG Maker MV tutorial I'm going to show you how to make the custom title screen. This is a really, really uh, popular, highly requested tutorial, so I figured I'd get it done. Sorry if I sound a little sick, it's because I am. Um, <clears throat> it's really not that hard to do, you just have to get the plugins and put all the files in the right order. So you can see that we actually have a picture that's overlaying a moving background. So we've got this static image with the Driftwood Legacy, and then in the background you've got this moving particle thingy. So it looks kind of cool, you've got your own buttons. and <clears throat> So I'll put a link in the description below where you can get the plugin you need for this. Uh, the, once you have the plugin installed, um, this is going to be called uh, Soul underscore MV Animated Title Screen. <clears throat> so this is by Soulpour777. And it's very familiar to several other um, plugins out there. So I don't know which one came first, the chicken or the egg, but, you know, there's several plugins that'll do the similar thing. <clears throat> so basically, once you've got the plugin installed, you have to do one thing with setting up your files. So go to Game Open Folder, and then inside the IMG folder, you're going to create a new folder called Title Screens. And inside here, you're going to put a folder for uh, whatever the plugin is looking for. <clears throat> so I'm using the Blue Sphere version. And so the Blue Sphere version is going to come with all of these files except for this and this and this. Um, how I basically did it is I used the plugin's uh, default background and particle stuff. And then I took a picture from the titles and resized it. So I might as well show you how to do that. <clears throat> what you want to do is once you've selected the type of background you want like I said there's several different kinds you don't have to use this blue one you can go to titles one and look at some of your default uh, title images see how I have a hexagram right here um, but it's probably not going to be in the resolution you want unless you've uh, unless you're using the default resolution and you don't have to do any resizing but you can take any one you want and then what you want to do is load it up into Photoshop. So you just open that up. <clears throat> Let's do this one. Okay. And inside of Photoshop, uh, I'll put a link to GIMP too. That's a free version program that'll do that does the similar, uh, does the same things basically. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna change the image size. So make sure you're on the the main layer, the background layer, image size. And then you want to put this uh, into pixels, and select the size of the resolution of your game. So I know my game is 1280 by 720. So once I've done that, um, I'll just hit File save as you don't want to overwrite it but we'll just say this one as 1280 or I'll, I'll just put the 720p that's basically what it is <clears throat> now if you overlay this image it's gonna just you're not gonna see anything in the background because you know it's just like putting an image over all the particle effects and it layers the image over the particle effects so what we need to do is magic eraser. So we're going to select the main layer, select magic eraser, tolerance is 1, opacity is 100. We're going to start doing this. And I spent about an hour <laughs> on the There is a there's probably a better way to do this. This seems to work. It just takes a while. And it kind of has like a cool feel when it's done. <clears throat> so if you know a better way please tell me how to do it because I did spend about an hour working on that last picture to make it mostly transparent and I didn't want it completely transparent you know obviously because what's the point of having a fully transparent picture but at least if it's mostly uh, transparent and you just have like the centerpiece or something then um, you'll see all of the stuff that's animating in the background also this makes it more customized so you know that yours is gonna look different even if you follow the same tutorial yours is gonna look different than the next person's
and you sort of do that for a while I'm not gonna go through all of it because I don't want this tutorial to go on too long but then when you get that done you can um, create a new layer by pressing control shift in and then put your title that'll work then we're gonna save that as a PSD just so in case we want to edit it we can do that later but then we're gonna save it as a PNG again <clears throat> and then we could either cut and paste it or we can just save it as a PNG okay it's currently saving so you have to let it finish saving you can save it as a PNG into the folder that you need it to be in so we're gonna save this into title screens and then whatever folder you you're using we'll save it right in there boom okay that's basically the hard part right getting the art assets so once you've got that we can open up the plugin again oops not that one and then you can change the logos right here so title one is your background and then title two which will be overlaid on top of that um, that's gonna be the the logo that you just made so I forgot what I called it um, I called it crystal underscore 720p so you chain double click here and you rename that you can leave all this other stuff default but if you want to mess with it go for it you know um, one thing you'll probably want to mess with is this last one max particles and use particles let's increase this turn off the particles <coughs> excuse me you could turn off the particles by typing false in here or you can uh, increase them by changing the number to a higher number let's take a look at it now super awesome and you see the background is the same right the scrolling uh, we have a little bit more particles going on but because it's mostly not transparent you can barely see it in the background but that's basically how you do it guys it's not that hard you install the plugin you you know stretch out an image you superimpose text on top of it um, apply some filters and use the magic eraser to make some transparency of course if I was doing this for realsies I would I would do a lot more transparency um, but yeah hopefully you like this tutorial I'm sorry that I'm sick <laughs> I don't want to be sick just like you guys don't want to hear me sick so I'm doing the best I can or Lysol bombing the house. So give it a thumbs up, like, favorite, share, subscribe if you enjoyed this content. And we'll see you in the next tutorial.